Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. I'm Fu, founder of Aventel. In today's video, I will introduce you to the basics of leather shoe. If you are an expert of leather shoe, this video is not for you. However, if you are new to this great new world, stay tuned. Why leather shoes? Every once in a while, you will attend a formal event, either a wedding, funeral, or a presentation. Or if you have an office job, in that case, you need to wear semi-formal clothes in Western formality system. That means you need to wear leather shoes. End of story. Other than that, it's a good idea to wear leather shoes casually as well. Leather shoes give a signal that you are mature and responsible and know the value of tradition. Leather boots, on the other hand, signal that you have an adventurous lifestyle, ready to live outside the rule. And some girls definitely like that. Either way, leather shoes bring out the spark, the flair of your outfit, make it complete. Leather type. The cheapest type of leather is just fake leather or split leather with plastic coating. This type is sadly the most common type of leather of all shoes. Better than that is suede, which is split leather with uncovered surface. It has a rustic, raw, unique look but doesn't work well in wet leather. The best leather is full grain or top grain leather, which is the surface layer of the animal hide. Depend on the thickness of the coating, we have analyzed, semi analyzed pattern leather. The thicker the coating layer, the more weather resistant the wet leather is, but it looks less natural and more plastic. The rope time is just by the best leather that you can afford and take care of it. You will enjoy your shoe more. Shoe color. The most formal shoe color is black, then dark brown. After that, every other color is considered casual. For your first leather shoe, consider dark brown first, then tan or white. You will get the most milestone out of this color. If you attend a lot of formal occasions, a black shoe should be high on your acquisition list as well. If you can afford a larger shoe collection, Consider patina shoe, shoe with more than one color, shoe with non-standard color like blue, green, red, orange as well. Your shoe has less than 5% of total surface area of your outfit, but usually is the first item to get noticed and complimented. It would be wise to invest in a good looking shoe. Sole construction. Shoe soles can be glued, heat pressed or stitched to the upper part. Glue and heat press are cheaper, more flexible type of sole construction, but less durable than stitch construction. Glue or heat press soles are typically found in sports sneakers, military outdoor shoes, or just cheap shoes. These sole construction types are cheap and flexible, but not durable. For stitched sole, the most common type are Goodyear welt, black stitch, and cup sole. Goodyear welt and black stitch are typically found in traditional leather shoe, which can be resolved and reused over and over for many years of use. Cup sole is typically found in good quality leather sneaker, are so durable, but this sole type is usually not to be resolved. For the best bang for your buck, you should stitch with stitch sole shoes like Goodyear welt, black stitch, and cup sole. Shoe types and formality. Shoe type formality is, is simple. The less details the shoe has, the blander the leather is, the more formal the shoe is. In order for formality, we have as follow: Opera pump, hole cut shoe, Oxford shoe, derby shoe, monk strap shoe, loafer, Chelsea boot, any type of rock shoe, boat shoe, and leather sneaker. That's it. With the casualization of men's wear, you can wear most leather shoe types in business casual and casual settings, as long as it's not too formal. So take a look at all those shoes and think about what your dream shoe look like. The sky is not your limit. Shoe horn and quick lacing technique. Leather shoe are typically closer fit than sneaker. If you have never worn a leather shoe before, it will take some time to get used to. 
because of the close fit it's hard to put on leather shoe by hand you need a tool like this called shoe horn you put on your leather shoe by put in uh, your feet like this then put on your shoe horn to your heel of the shoe and slide it in like this pull it out as such, you should have a uh, shoe horn in your EDC kit if you uh, wear a leather shoe regularly. Also. And now I tie up the lace. Here you go. Alternatively, you can uh, wear the leather shoe by a quick lacing technique like this. Just uh, have to uh, open uh, the shoe wide and slide your feet in, and then tighten it. Hey, I will uh, introduce uh, you to this uh, lacing technique in another video. Shoe rotation, because let the shoe soak up sweat from your foot. It's a good idea to let it rest and dry after a long day of use to extend shoe life. If you wear leather shoe daily, you should have at least two shoes to rotate. You have one shoe to wear and one to rest. If you live in an area that rains often, it's better to have at least three to five shoes to rotate because the shoe is wetter. In short, the more shoe you have on rotation, the longer the shoe lasts. Shoe anti wrinkles. As you walk in your leather shoe, the shoe will strain and stretch, which leads to wrinkle. There are many techniques to reduce shoe wrinkle, and my favorite is using shoe tree. That is the simplest, less effort way to reduce the shoe wrinkle. But no matter how well you take care of your shoe, it will always wrinkle, and you should accept it as an innate beauty of leather and a part of its charm. Fake leather care. If your shoe is made of fake leather, i.e. plastic, the best thing you can do is clean it regularly and keep it in a cool and dry place. The plastic is used for fresh leather is less durable than the plastic used in raw fiber form like nylon. Over time, the fake leather plastic will fatigue and crack. There's nothing you can do about it, but throw it away. Sweat leather care. Suede leather is one of more fragile leather types. It's dry and not water resistant. You shouldn't wear suede shoe in rainy season or winter. If you have water on your shoe, you should use paper to soak up most of the water and let it air dry. Maintenance routine includes brushing the shoe after use and spray the shoe with suede leather water repellent once per month. Suede eraser could be useful for shallow stain and should be used as soon as the leather is dirty. Eventually, sweat leather will crack because it doesn't have oil or fat to wet it, but while it lasts, it will serve you well. Smooth leather care. Smooth leather in the market is available in different tanning process and the animal the hide came from. If you have waxed leather, which is a chrome tanned leather that is soaked in oil and wax, Maintenance can be as simple as regularly brushing the shoe. If you have vegetable tan leather or non waxed chrome tan leather, maintenance has three parts keeping the shoe clean, wet, and waxed. Keeping the shoe clean means brushing the shoe or wiping it with a wet towel. My favorite is the latter because it cleans better. Wetting leather means occasionally you apply leather oil to your shoe either once a month or longer depending on where you live. Waxing leather means just that, applying wax to your leather. This step is only for aesthetic. It depends on if you want a polish shoe, semi polish shoe, or totally made shoe. I will go into details for smooth leather care in another video. Pattern leather shoe. This is the easiest type of leather to care for. All you have to do is clean it and keep the shoe in a cool and dry place. It should last you a long time. But patent leather is hard to repair. Minor scratch can be polished and your shoe will look like new. 
but if your soul has a significant scratch, you should bring it to a cobbler. So it's a on for nothing type of letter. I hope through this video you have an overview of leather shoe and how to start with it. And you know what is good with uh, leather shoe? Aventel belt. Aventel belt is a premium holeless side adjustable belt made from full grain vegetable tan leather. You can check uh, the belt and um, the shop link in the description. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.